Hey, it's Tim here. In 2021.2, Tableau is essentially giving you the capability to open up a workbook from the browser directly in desktop. They're sort of calling it connected workbooks, but I'm not sure that's the official name. But in this video, I'm gonna show you essentially how it works. It's gonna be a super short and quick video. Okay, so I'm here on Tableau Online. I've got my Superstore workbook and I essentially wanna open this um, in Tableau Desktop. So when I click on these three dots, you'll see that I get this new contextual menu and opening it in a desktop is one of those options. Now, when I go ahead and click this option, if I just go ahead and click on it there, you'll see that I get this little notification from Chrome to say, hey, this application is trying to open up desktop. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna click open uh, desktop. By the way, you should uh, click always allow if you don't want that notification to come up. But in that case, I didn't. And uh, when it opens up, essentially I haven't had Tableau open. Everything was closed. I closed everything to make sure. There's a couple of things I wanna check here. Number one, is it gonna log me in automatically? Or am I gonna to have to log in again? And number two, um, at what state is it going to open up in, okay? And so with this one, all we've done is we've opened up the workbook directly from the browser. And actually you can see that it is actually connected. You can just see here at the top that it's actually got the Tableau Online instance and the name at the top. So that just clearly shows you that everything is coming from Tableau Online. So, so far, so good, that's worked. I'm, I'm in the workbook. I I'm, I I'm sort of don't know what's actually happened. I don't know where it's saying this it's just going ahead and open it if i click save i just want to see what happens i want to see if it publishes it up or if it actually gives me the option to save it in a, in a, in a desktop so if i actually click on this uh, little directly you can see that it's actually keeping it in the my tablet repository folder that's sort of where it wants to save it which maybe is a, is a clue where it's coming from but long story short that works really really smoothly now the next test i want to do is I'm working on something, the Tableau Online in the browser, and I come up against something that I can't do, um, and I quickly want to switch to desktop to finish it off. So let's go ahead and try and do that. I'm going to go ahead and close Tableau again. Um, I'm just going to select done there because there was no issue there. So everything's working fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and go into this workbook. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the overview page, okay? And once we are here, we're going to try and make some edits. So I'm going to go right into an edit in the browser, and then I'm going to try and see how it picks up uh, that edit uh, when I open up in desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color palette, something nice and visual that everyone uh, here watching the video can see very easily. OK, and you can see that it's obviously done something because last edits recovered to save all changes, click file, save that. So there's obviously some change that I've I've made. I think it might actually be the change that I was making in desktop. So um, let's sort of push through. So we're just going to close that. We're going to leave everything as is and we're going to go ahead to color. I'm going to edit the colors and we're going to choose a different color palette. We'll choose a glaringly bad color palette. Let's choose sunrise set diverging. Let's wait for that to stick. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything is good to go. Okay, so now I'm here. I want to switch to desktop. I don't want to save. I don't want to do anything. Let's see how that works. Okay, so there's actually a new icon to be aware of. So uh, you might you might actually think that you go to far here and um, you know connect connect to something and you see there's just the saving option there's no sort of open in or you know open in desktop or something like that feature like you'd normally have the actual place you need to go is this tiny icon over here it's this nice new icon uh, which is essentially going to open it up in desktop so let's go ahead and click on that and see how that works so let's go ahead and click on that uh, you'll see there's even a shortcut which is actually really good for pro users shortcuts are so important so i love that so this workbook has unsaved changes save your changes and try and get so unfortunately you do need to save things um, before you go ahead I was sort of hoping it would sort of do that for you now the workbook is saved let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna click always allow now because this notification is annoying me and um, Tableau also tells you that look that you might have some troubles uh, because the way browsers work a lot of browsers will ask you permission to do absolutely anything so let's go ahead and the key thing I want to see is where does it drop me? Does it drop me in that map page that I was at with a sort of awful color palette? Or is it just going to drop me in the workbook? So let's wait and see what happens. And it's dropped me right in the map. So this is kind of nice. So you have to save your work on Tableau Online. You hit that button and boom, and it opens it up. Now I have to say, this is a lot faster than downloading the workbook, then double clicking the workbook, and then opening it in Tableau. It just opens it up and you can just have the seamless experience of using uh, your content as it should be. So here we are. This is this has worked really, really nicely. Now, the thing I'd love to know now is if I uh, go ahead and um, 
save this. Now that I'm here, the, the, the sort of the complex thing is I've taken myself out of the flow. And um, what I then have to do now to sort of get this working is to publish it back up. So I'd love the save option on desktop to sort of somehow sync up with the server and um, for the changes to actually pick up essentially, right? So at this, at this point in frame, I'm having to sort of um, publish this over the existing workbook. Whereas um, if you're sort of going to connect these two experiences, what I'd like to see in the future is for the save function to have a save and overwrite function so that when you save, it also publishes it up to server. So when you go over here to file, save, or save as, um, that it stops being just a uh, you know file specific thing on your machine and it starts to become a more connected feature as they so call, call the feature, okay? So that's pretty much it. You can see here that um, I've got my workbook saved. It's updated at 1 p.m. and we're pretty much ready to go. So that's the feature in a nutshell. Let me know what you think in the description below and hopefully, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video about 2021.t.